awesome, super awesome, just try it. Huh? Like right now? Of course. He's got everything, right? I mean, yeah, it's all here. But I kind of thought you were going to play too. You know my mom. She said I gotta focus on studying, so for tonight, I can't. But feel free to start without me. I'll catch up in no time flat. Risa, the water's ready for your bath. Kay! I gotta run. Anyway, you've totally got this. Go kick some butt! I'm sure you'll be awesome! Hey, hold on, Risa! Man, I barely even touched a game in my entire life, let alone played one. And let's be honest, I only bought this one because Risa said to. <sighs> It's just so hard to say no when she gets that sparkly look in her eyes. Oh well, time to set this stuff up. Gotta pick a name, huh? Hmm. I suppose I could use my real one, but I don't know what to do. That's it. I'll just use the English word for my real name. Kayede equals maple. There, one step down. Oh, next up is starting equipment? A one-handed sword? A mace and a staff? Well, I've never been that great when it comes to hand-eye coordination. And besides, I don't want to get hurt, so I should just avoid getting hit, right? Uh, maybe I should just pick the staff and be a wizard. <laughs> the Great Shield is terrible for offense, but number one in defense? Wait, does that mean if I raise my defense enough, I won't take damage? That's my jam, sign me up! I have to distribute status points now? Well, might as well put everything straight into defense. There, that should do it. Yay! Strength is power, and agility must be speed. Oh no! I'm stuck in turtle mode because I have zero agility points! Oops, that was stupid. What should I do? I guess I could always log out and redo it since Risa's not here. Oh well, I already made the character. Time to fight monsters and get strong! I wonder where they keep the monsters. Uh, hi there! Excuse me? fight some monsters, but I have no idea where I should go to find them. Oh, you must be a newbie. There's some easy monsters in the forest to the west. It's a good spot to raise your level when you're just starting out. All you have to do is stand around and the critters will bring the fight to you. Thank you for the advice. I'll check it out. Go get them. What's up, Frederica? Oh, hey, Drag. Nothing much. I was just telling a new player about a good place to do some level grinding. Yeah? Sure are a lot of players these days. Whatever, let's get going. Look, Payne's already here. Well, I'd expect nothing less coming from him. Everyone else is walking so fast. They probably assign their points more evenly. <gasps> that must be the forest! Okay, this spot is as good as any. Hey there, monsters! Come out, come out wherever you are! <gasps> it's so cute! Really? It's charging! Ouch! Wait. Oh, cool! That didn't hurt! 128 vitality for the win! <laughs> Do you like my abs of steel, Buster? 
This doesn't hurt one bit. Come on, what's the matter? Bring it. That's right. Keep at it. You're doing great. You totally got this. Put your back into it. Are you even trying? On just a second. Two times vitality? In other words, I have 256 vitality now? And all I did was play with Mr. Bunny for an hour. I'm ready. Sorry about that. there are around here. I really don't want to fight anything that's super cute again, so here's hoping that the next monster's kind of ugly. When used, restores 1% of max HP in 10 seconds. The effect lasts 10 minutes. Under requirements, it says, while being under attack... Hold up. While being under attack? <laughs> That 
was crazy, but I learned a new skill, so in a weird way, it was kind of worth it. Oh, that's cool. I got another 10 status points. Into vitality you go. There. You know, I think I did pretty good for my first day. Yep, I should probably log off for now. <laughs> that was so much fun! No way! It's already that late?! Oh no! I had tons of homework to do! <sighs> I'm back for more fun! Reese is still busy with school stuff, but I can explore on my own! <sighs> Everyone looks so stylish! Meanwhile, I'm still in starting equipment. Hey, he must be a great shielder too. Sir! Excuse me! Um... Huh? <sighs> hey there! <sighs> Where can I get a shield like that? Is there a shop or something? Uh, like this? Yeah! I think your great shield is so cool! <laughs> well, thanks. This was actually made to order. I had a crafter make it custom for me in exchange for money. Oh, that makes sense. Do you want to meet her? Yes, I'd love to! So she's a newbie after all. Never thought she'd straight up talk to me, though. <sighs> hey, if it isn't Kurobu. And a friend. Sorry to intrude. To be honest, I couldn't resist kidnapping her. She's a great shielder, newbie. She's super cute. But hey, regarding that kidnapping part, huh? I'm just gonna go ahead and report you. Whoa! Don't do anything rash! It was a figure of speech! I'd never be that weird! <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Sheesh, can't you take a joke? <sighs> Not when it's bad for my heart, I can't. You should know better than to follow around suspicious people. Yes, ma'am, I'll keep that in mind. Are you trying to say I'm suspicious? <laughs> Anyway, what brings you by? Well, this girl was saying she wants an awesome great shield, so I thought I'd be a good citizen and introduce you two. Oh, well, that makes sense. Nice to meet you, I'm Iz. As you can see, I'm a crafter, but my specialty lies more in the smithing department. I do synthesis and stuff like that, too. Cool, my name is Maple, it's a real pleasure. <laughs> Maple, huh? So why do you decide to become a great shielder? Well, uh, I don't really like getting hurt, so I thought it'd be best if I focused on defense instead. If I take all that into account, sounds like vitality gear would be right up your alley. But hooking you up with the good stuff is gonna cost you an easy million. How much do you have on you? Not much, only 3,000 or so. <laughs> I'd say you're a little short. But keep at it and you'll have enough before you know it. Hmm, guess I'll have to look like a noob forever. Poison Dragon's Labyrinth is to the east. It's loaded with all kinds of super awesome treasure. Oh, but the monsters can be kind of strong. Go check it out sometime. If you're lucky, you might even loot some good equipment to hold you over. That's good to know. Thank you both so much. And now that we know each other better, why don't you let me add you as a friend? If you do that, then we can talk whenever you want. Thanks, that would be awesome. Can I add you, Kuromu? Sure. I'll also split some of my potions with you. A small gift for a fellow great shielder. <sighs> Hold on, you don't think she'll head to that dungeon all on her own, do you? No, that's crazy. <laughs> I would have 
preferred an actual attack skill, but beggars can't be choosers. Turn! 
Wild Savage. Huh? Hey, if I eat those, maybe I can build up explosion resist. Paralyzing shout! Sacrifice, though, it's a pity for you. The name's Christmas Rose, but many players refer to me as the White Rose Knight. Cool. It's unfortunate that those lovely eyes of yours shall soon be filled with tears, but please do not think poorly of me. Be warned! I attack! <laughs> Yikes, that's a lot of people. 
Okay, Kaede. Oh, crap! Uh, hey, something wrong? Sort of. It's bad form to use real names. So don't forget to call me Sally, okay? That's what I decided to call this character. Sally? That's so cute! Right, you got it. Now then, first things first. Oh, it's cool how you divided your points into different stats. <laughs> it's normal, silly. Still, though, I didn't put any points into Vitality, MP, or HP. At least that's what I'm going to do for the time being. Why not? For one thing, if I can evade taking any damage, then I don't really need HP or defense. And I don't know if I'm using magic yet, so for right now, it's best to keep my MP low. You can always use special weapons to compensate for lack of strength. But since I want to be uber fast, I put most of my available points into the agility slot. Wow, you put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> Yeah, well, we can't all be walking tanks, so we have a lot more to consider. So, yeah. Hmm. I hope I can get some specialized gear soon. Maybe something cool like your shield. It's awesome. Do you mean this one? Uh-huh. Isn't that the replica of the Dark Knight? The one that can eat up all its enemies' attacks? Wait a sec. If you're guarding all the time, you won't get skills that you can only acquire when you get hit. I know, and I actually asked somebody about commissioning a new shield. She's a really cool crafter I met the other day, named Iz. But here's the thing. A shield? I guess if you brought me all the materials, I could make you one for around a million gold or so. Well, my replica of the Dark Knight is black, but I've always thought it would be kind of cool to have a white shield, you know? Okay, what you want to do is head to the underground lake south of the city. Collect the scales from the white fish that swim in the lake. Those are the materials I'll need. So yeah. Well then, sounds like we need to go and check out this underground lake. Uh, you sure? Yeah, of course. But first we'll need some equipment, like fishing rods. <laughs> hey, that's too fast. Wait for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was too fast for her? In that case. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thinks the agility is so fast, huh? Yeah, so hold down tight, because if we run into monsters, it's going to be all you. Yeah, okay. Speaking of which, I spy some wolves ahead. Paralyzing shout! <laughs> Sometime in the future. You got it. 
whatever you need. Hey, get this. Uh, I found a sealed cave. I saw it down at the bottom of the lake. What? Seriously? That's cool. I wonder if I can get down there. Well, you probably can't swim with zero agility. I might have to tackle this one by myself. Like right now? Not yet. It'd be smart to raise my level and swimming skill up a bit more. Which is why... Say no more. We'll come here every day so you can level up. That's how I'll repay the favor. I just knew you'd say that. You're the best, Maple. <laughs> Don't forget it.
was exhausting. I had to resort to my serious mode. <sighs> but I owned that guy. Now, let's crack open that treasure chest. Open Sesame! <gasps> you can use devour. Yeah, it's just ten times a day now, right? Yep, no big surprise. A shield that can eat everything while giving you magic is just way too OP. True. What about the other thing, though? The defense piercing stuff or whatever? Well, they fixed it so even you can take damage now. I guarantee the developers did it as a countermeasure to the walking tank known as Maple. This stuff is par for the course. The AI improvements are there to limit any future Maples. They're worried about balance. The game would be seriously off if everyone got total defense like you. <sighs> Cheer up! Sure, you're totally capable of taking damage, but in a way that makes you cooler. Just imagine all the damage effects coming out and how it will make you feel even more invincible. Celebrity. Huh? A celebrity? Never mind. 
awesome. There are so many choices. For real. Hey, it says this one's seasonal. I think I'll try it. Cool, then I'll pick this. <laughs> Here's your order. Whoa, looks just like the real deal. Enjoy your food. Thanks so much. Time to chow down. Huh? It's delicious. I bet a dessert like this would be super expensive in real life. And the best part about in-game food is there are no calories. Lucky. I wonder when they're going to have the next event. <laughs> I have no idea, but wouldn't it be great if we could pair up together? So, one problem. Last time was a free-for-all, right? True. Which means we would have to fight each other, huh? They actually announced the new event recently. Uh -huh. You're that maple girl, right? You got third place last time. Yeah, that was me, but who are you? I can't believe you don't know my name. I'm Dread, and I came in second. As for me, I came in fifth. I actually saw you talking to Frederico once. Name's Drag. Very nice to meet you. Wait a minute, who's Frederica? You don't remember? She told you where to go find some monsters. That girl? Oh. You really surprised her. She never imagined the newbie she gave advice to would end up landing third place in the first event. Oh, well, yeah. I just got super lucky is all. Hey, they're right. Check it out, Maple. The second event will be held next weekend. It looks like we can team up. That's great. Now we can fight together. Well, if we cross paths, go easy on us, okay? But you guys just said you got second and fifth place last time. That must mean you're both pretty good. You know it. But even if the two of us teamed up and fought together, we'd still be no match for Pain. Who's Pain? Are you serious? He's the guy who got first place by a giant landslide. And he reached the second level faster than anyone else. The guy's a legend. Whoa, he sounds like super amazing. This game is full of cool players. On that note, we're off to do some level grinding. How about you? There are a lot of places we haven't seen on level one. So we're going to go explore a bit. But we haven't figured out a particular place yet. Do you guys know any good spots you would suggest? Places to explore? That's a good question. If you have time for it, how about the North Forest? Wait until after nightfall if you can. I hear there's a quest you can accept to get the super speed skill. But, it might be a pretty difficult quest for girl players such as yourselves. What do you think? We're down! <laughs> I wonder what he meant by it's a difficult quest for girl players. No clue, but whenever someone issues a challenge like that, it just fires me up even more! Healing him. Okay, sounds good. 
good. Looks like she'll be out for a while. Well, in that case, I'm on my own! <laughs> shield. Yep. I'm trying to save my devour skill for when I really need it today. So, is this your rumored friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Sally. Wait, what rumored friend? Uh, nothing. Just forget about it. Listen! With today's event, we'll bolster the reputation of the Flame Emperors. I promise each and every one of you, as long as you're with me, you will taste only victory on the battlefield. So stand proud! You are Flame Emperors! Know that! Together, we'll reach beyond the earth and the skies. Join up with me, and our fierce flames will scorch anything that blocks our way. Wow, they're excited. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a group known as the Flame Emperors. Say what? It's the Kingdom of the Flame Emperors. Their leader is a powerful fire wizard. Her name's me. She came in fourth last time, but believe me, she's a force to be reckoned with. Awesome, she's great! Her name's cute, but she looks super strong. Okie dokie, the countdown for the second event will begin momentarily! This time, the event is a treasure hunt! And the treasures you're looking for are 300 silver medals scattered around the map! Collect 10 of these to trade in for gold medals. Then those gold medals can be exchanged for skills and cool gear after the event is over. Oh, it's just like the one I got last time. The top 10 players from our last event already have one of these nifty gold medals in their inventory. Killing players for medals is A-OK, -okay, or you can always search for medals if PvP is your thing. Man, I guess it wasn't a commemorative medal after all. I was ninth place, so I got a medal too. Don't let anyone take yours, okay? Right. Let's start the countdown! Five, four, three, Good two, luck. one!
And then we found nothing but an endless field of grass. I'd pay money for a hint right now. You know what? Typically you receive items from boss drops or you can find hidden treasures in like mazes or whatever. I think that's the case. Whoa, what? Where'd you go? Sally, her friend. Right. Whoa, we're not here for a fight, are we, guys? Yeah, we're cool. We don't want to start anything. That's good, because I don't want to fight against people I know either. Okay, then I'm cool with it as long as you are. But if you try anything, I'll crush you. Oh, man, I don't doubt it. It's good to be careful, though. Some players in this event are really into snagging medals in a PvP fight. Hold on, have you been having trouble? Well, honestly, our first day was a total bust. We were gonna go harder today, but we're still behind. I doubt more than one party can enter at a time. 
And it's just our luck that we got here right after you guys did. Listen, if you don't mind, do you think we could let Kudomu's group have this one? Mm, doesn't matter to me. If that's what you want. Yeah. Besides, we got a couple medals yesterday. And I still owe Kudomu a favor. He helped me out a lot when I started. All right. I'm game as long as you are. Have at it, guys. Go get yourself some medals. Are you sure? Usually it's first come, first serve. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. But I don't want to hear you complain when we're swimming in medals. No promises there. <laughs> I can't resist a good offer. Come on! Yeah! yeah.
one. <sighs> Hi, Beach. Oh, uh, rewind. What the heck happened back there? I thought for sure you were a goner. It's a new skill. I acquired it right before the battle ended. Let's see. Here it is. Stout Guardian. A great shielder exclusive skill that's learned while covering an ally and having less than 10% health points. Once a day, you're able to withstand any kind of attack and still survive with 1 HP. Sounds cool. Yeah, it does. Wait, are you saying we'd be goners without that? You're at 1 HP? <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Heal! 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 It's a 
called Bridge of Bonds. It looks like equipping this ring will allow certain monsters to fight alongside us when we're in battle. That's cool. I'm all about it! <laughs> Cut it out, that tickle! Hey, since we've equipped the rings, we should be able to see their stats. Huh, looks like we gotta give them a name first. On it! I've got the most perfect name, Syrup! And together we shall be known as Maple Syrup! <laughs> I think I'll name you Oboro. Is that okay? <laughs> nice to meet you, Oboro. 15 speed? So slow. Still faster than you, though. Go, Syrup! Use bite! <laughs> now, fire tail! Levels after all this work? <laughs> That's strange. I think Oboro just acquired a new skill. Hibernate and Awaken? Oh, Syrup has it too. It looks like Hibernate lets them recover inside the ring, and then to call them back out, we just have to use Awaken. Makes sense to me. <laughs> <gasps> now we can always be together. <sighs> the desert is no place for cute little Syrup. I don't want Oboro to get covered in sand. Hey, we can take a break over there. Yeah, as long as it's not a mirage, you know. <laughs> Maple, the girl who plays third. Uh, that's me, but who are you? Six place isn't worth remembering, huh? have one, right? A golden medal. You have one, right? A golden medal. Wait. Huh? I'm not a big fan of these odds. Do you really think I'll let you escape after picking a fight? <laughs> Super speed! Super speed! Huh? Hey! You guys! Wait, I'm coming too! Super speed. Guess we're both full of surprises. Which is precisely why I withdrew. Burst of sword, heat haste! <laughs> but how? I did warn you I was full of surprises. <laughs> chains. It says that if anyone dies while bound by the chains, then everyone does. They're also unbreakable. Yeah, of course they are. Hey, don't worry. I'll protect you no matter what. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Well, I suppose I'm the third wheel, aren't I? How about a temporary truce? Great idea. I think we should all try to work together. That way we can get out of here. Well, then I'm Sally. My name's Kasumi. A pleasure. And my name's Maple! I'm 
I'm not positive, but I assume we'll have to clear the dungeon in order to break the chains. Eesh, depending on the boss, that could be a real pain. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, sorry, are you okay? Uh, yep, I'm fine. Hey, a medal! Talk about lucky! Uh, since you're the one who found it, you should be the one to keep it. But we're all together. You're a very thoughtful girl. But let's go with the finder's keeper's rule. It's all right. I agree. It makes the most sense. Well, okay then. You know, that hidden metal makes me suspect this might be an exploration-type dungeon. Yeah, and it's kind of lame. Honestly, I prefer the dungeons where you just beat a boss and that's all there is to it, you know? For real, same here. Yes, fighting is more of my forte as well. As long as it's nothing like that giant ice chicken. What ice chicken? It's a cool story. Two days ago, we fought this boss with an insanely high HP bar. So epic. Which direction do you think we should go now? <laughs> Something wrong? Shh.
Sounds good. And may we meet again. Bye. Good luck. I hope you find a lot of medals. Yes, you as well. We have three days to get nine more medals. Think it's possible? Maybe, but we might have to target other players to get them. I see. Well, we can just put it on the back burner for now. We'll keep searching in the meantime. Okay. And to be honest, it's not a big deal to me if we don't collect enough. No longer I'm conquered by the solar skeleton Step by step, you down my road You're nothing disposable, the sun's a crowder You have the same interest with heart and hands Don't look at Maple been doing. Oh, anything but that. <laughs> there, another perfect game. I lost again. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there you are. Uh, yeah. Who is this? My name's Kanade. Maple and I just finished making a cool sandcastle together. It was super fun. Yeah. Is this mm. a good idea? Huh? I mean, I don't see why not. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm only level 5. It sucks, but I'm still pretty weak. This event's not really my jam. It isn't? But I've got this cool thing, so I'm happy. What is it? It's some loot I got after finishing a puzzle in an old library. It took me four whole days. <sighs> this staff has a pretty sweet skill, too. Whoa! Wait, that's a staff? That's awesome! What's the skill? Oh, it's something called Akashic Records. Check it when I use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's a secret. You tease. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> we should play together again when the event's over. Would it be okay if I added you as a friend? Uh, sure. Then, as a token of our friendship, here. What is it? A book I found. I think it might contain a hint dealing with this event. The heart of ancient days. To a gushing well ye shall converge, but in the dimming light it shan't emerge. If hero conquers, foe decays, into tranquil waters ye submerge. I wonder what it means. Have you figured it out already? Yep, immediately. Oh, tell us! No way! You gotta figure this one out on your own. Besides, solving a puzzle is the best part. Well, at least Kanade told us these ruins have something to do with the riddle. The heart of ancient days to a gushing well ye shall converge. Gushing well, gushing well. What if we filled the fountain with water? Using your skill. Will that even work though? At the most, I think Torrent will only be able to fill up one fountain. Torrent isn't the only skill we have to make water. Now what are you planning? <laughs> Torrent! <laughs> Did it actually work? Uh. So bright! <gasps> wow, it's like we're in the middle of the ocean! I don't see a boss yet, but I bet anything there is one. Captain, do it! 
Well, being the last day in all, there's widespread PvP. I thought it wise to hide out for a while. You're welcome to hang out with us if you want. Our cave is your cave. <sighs> Thanks. Hydra! See? Now no one will step foot in here. Or leave. Right. Ooh, what the heck is this? Dude, it's a poison cave. No way we're exploring in there. But there's probably a crap ton of metals and treasure just ripe for the taking. <sighs> we'll never survive it. We die instantly. Bet that cave has a crazy strong boss. Yippee! Yet another win for me! Seriously? How are you so good at this? Let me play! I'll defeat her! <laughs> a bold assumption! Uh -huh. Rawr! Rawr! Excellent work, everyone! That marks the end of the second event! Players with more than ten medals will be given a choice to pick a skill! <sighs> it's out. over. Yes. At long last. I'm kind of kind of relieved, you know? Prize. Very impressive. Thanks! I couldn't have done it without Sally. This event was fun! Because hmm? we saw all sorts of places, and met all sorts of people! We fought scary bosses, and even solved a puzzle! Like, you guys! We had such a jam-packed week! I feel like we all just went on the most amazing adventure ever! You saying you had fun? <laughs> no, I had a blast, Sally! Session, your reflexes get stuck in gaming mode. It was just one night, but your body thinks it's been a whole week fighting off monsters. Hmm, good point. Right. I'll be careful. of new features to the game. New features? Like what? Well, there's a new insect called a bright bug that only appears in select zones. And if you catch one, you'll get the exclusive right to buy a guild house. I'm not sure what that means. So you know how there's a bunch of buildings you're not allowed to enter? With the new update, you can make one of those your home. Whoa! No way! Yeah, up until now, we've been staying at nothing but inns. Those days are over if we buy our own place. Cool! Let's go catch one of those bright bug thingies right away! I thought you'd be on board. Ta-da! I already scored us one while you were on hiatus. Wow! You're the best, Sally! We've saved up a ton of gold, so we can easily afford a house. Awesome! You 
knew everything. <laughs> That's right, bring on the praise. six at the first event, right? And who's this? Kanade. We met at the metal hunt. Nice to meet you. I'm Kuromu. What's up? Ah, I get it. You guys are forming a guild, aren't you? Yep. And Kasumi and Kanade just agreed to be our newest members. Oh, I know. If you guys are looking for a guild, you're welcome to join ours. Join your guild? Well, as long as you two are the ones running it, then okay, you can count me in. Same here. But only if everyone's cool with it. So, what do you guys say? Sure, don't see why not. That's great! Do you mind if they join, Sally? Of course not. On to the next step, registration time. Oh my, this house is lovely. Agreed. It's so cozy and cute. We're making Maple the Guildmaster, right? What? But why me? Makes sense. You're the one who decided which house to get, and you picked our members. She has my boat! Time for your introduction. Speech! Uh, what? Speech? Well, my name's Maple, and I guess I'm the Guildmaster? My strengths are poison and vitality. I'll do my best to lead you. <laughs> I think the only thing left is picking a guild name. What if Maple chooses? She is in charge, after all. Oh, let me think. <laughs> Maple Tree! From now on, we'll be known as the Maple Tree Guild! So this is the famous... 
this flying turtle. That's right. This is Syrup. Well, I can certainly see why you're the talk of the town. What do you mean? Are we famous or something? Are you serious, Maple? Have you not noticed yet? Mm, um, I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Hey, look over there. It's the mine you mentioned, right, Is? <laughs> Thanks so much for the lip syrup. <laughs> We should be able to get plenty of materials in here. Yay! Kanade, can you help us out? Just leave it to me. For today, Akashic Records gave me the Mining 5 skill to use. I bet we'll dig up a ton of cool things. I can't guarantee that I'll get the same skill tomorrow, though. So we should try to do as much mining as possible while we're already here. Your staff is pretty cool. I can't believe it just gives you a random ability every day. It's like a skill slot machine. <laughs> That's not good. You can leave all the fighting to me. You focus on gathering materials. We're on it. <laughs> Don't have too much fun, all right? <laughs> Double fight! Oh, man, Sally's a real beast, isn't she? We haven't even had a chance to fight yet. At this rate, she won't need us to help with gathering items. <laughs> Exactly. Not good. So my suggestion is that we should try to recruit more members. I see. That might be a wise idea. Nothing wrong with having a few more friends. As the guild's crafter, I'm on board. More members means more work for me. Great! In that case, let's go ahead with his suggestion. I know we gotta find more members, but what kind of people should we be trying to recruit? That's a good question, but that's for the guildmaster to decide. Man! So much responsibility! Look, there's a bulletin board. Players can use it to recruit for guilds and parties. Maybe it'll give you some leads. Looks like DPS is in popular demand. That's good to know. Yeah, but I don't see anyone that would work for us. Recruiting on the second level might be kinda tough. So, let's go down to one. I kinda doubt there's any strong players still chilling on the first level, though. It's okay if they're not strong. I just want to have fun. Well then, let's go. You're right. I bet we'll have better luck down there. Whoa, it's 
feels like it's been forever. We haven't had a reason to come back here. Sure feels nostalgic, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna go check around, okay? Uh, I don't get it. Why don't other parties want us? I'm starting to think maxing out was a bad idea. Hey, don't say things like that. When we get stronger, parties will be begging us to join. I remember those girls. But it feels impossible to level up with both of us maxed out like this. True. We've already spent like a ton of time in the game, though. It feels like a waste to start over. I know. But what are our other options? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Uh, <laughs> can we help you? Uh, well... I'm just gonna let you know right now that we don't have any rare items. Oh, hold on, you've got it all wrong! I'm not here to fight you for your stuff or anything crazy like that. I, um... Uh, it's the opposite. Let's party hard. Sounds weird. I meant join me. Like, join my guild. <gasps> um, thanks for the invite. But we're still pretty weak. We're basically just beginners. Hey, no worries. I'm actually the guild master. So if I say it's cool, it's cool. Maple? Who are these girls? Just a couple of new players I'm scouting. Oh, oh. them? <sighs> if that's who you want, then it's totally fine by me. So, you guys in? What should we do, Yui? Uh... Here's an idea. Why don't we all go talk about it? Oh, there's that awesome cafe down here, remember? Yeah, true. Let's go there. Well, we could get to know each other over some tea or something. What do you think, sis? Kay. Delicious. This is a really nice cafe. I know. Everything is our treat, okay? So help yourselves. My name is Sally, and this girl is Maple. What are your names? My name is Yui. This is my twin sister. Hi, I'm Mai. I see. I heard you say you maxed something out. Yes, both my sister and I decided to max our attack. But that means we have zero agility, so we walk super slow. Boy, do I feel that. Plus, having zero agility is like the worst thing ever in a battle. It's not just in a game. To be honest, we're pretty small in real life. We're not even remotely strong. You guys kind of remind me of Maple. You make your own play style, and don't worry about the game's mechanics. <laughs> yeah, guilty. Wait, does that mean you're maxed out too, Maple? Yep, sure am. I'm Vitality all the way. She's famous up on the second level. Nah, geez, stop exaggerating so much, Sally. <gasps> Awesome! Maxing out your stats can actually be successful. I'm not really sure you want to use Maple as an example, but yeah, I guess. Well, Sally, is it cool to add them to the guild? Mm-hmm. Go for it. Besides, most of the flaws with maxing out your strength will vanish once you add Maple into the mix. If anything, we just need to level you up a bit before the next event. But it really comes down to you guys and whatever you want to do. We, we would, would love, love to, to join, join you. you. if this is kind of a surprise, but it's a faster way to travel. <laughs> it's not that surprising. I've actually heard rumors about a player who travels around on a flying turtle. I know it's weird, but you'll have to get used to this kind of stuff. With Maple, you never know what kind of wacky ideas she'll come up with. <sighs> this place takes me back, though I don't remember much since I got knocked out last time. Oh yeah, we need you to come with us to the second level. So we'll form a group with you, and then take down the boss. Right. You're sure about this? Like we said earlier, the two of us are very good fighters. Apologies in advance in case we die or something. Hey, you two have nothing to worry about. Yeah, you guys hang back here and I'll handle the boss. You got it. Sally's beaten it before, so she knows how to deal with it. But can you really beat that monster by yourself? It is a boss, after all. Trust us, everything will be fine, okay? Do those things! Sally is super amazing! 
so many amazing people there, you're gonna love it. But you sure you want us to join you? You're all so strong and we're still so weak. I said it's cool. With our help, you two will be strong in no time. <laughs> and there you have it. Please welcome our newest guild members. Say hello to Mai and Yui. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for, for having us. us. I never thought I'd meet someone else who maxed out their stats. That's Maple for you. She sure knows how to pick out the unique players. Fortunately, the guild competition is still a ways off. So starting tomorrow, we're gonna pile the levels on you. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Okay. Thank you all so much. We'll, we'll do, do our, our best! best. out your strength. Talk about real forces of nature. When I look at Mai and Yui, it's weird, but they really do remind me of Maple. What if they level up and end up becoming just like her? Huh? Is something wrong, Sally? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. I was just thinking about our new guild a bit and how much fun it'll be. Yeah, for real. It's great. Destroyer? 
Conqueror gives the user double their normal strength. To get it, you have to beat the boss a certain number of times within a set time frame. Destroyer allows you to take weapons that are normally two-handed and equip them with only one hand. You can only get it when you clear a dungeon in under a certain amount of time. So, let me get this straight. You two know how double the strength that you had before? And you can wield two-handed weapons in one hand? I didn't know that was a thing. Yep. It's really perfect skills for both of them, because they've maxed out their attack. Uh, what's with the blank stares? Well, I mean, I figured being with you, they would come back with some weird new skills, but this is on another level. Blew my expectations out of the water. I suppose my and Yui have some legit firepower now, don't they? Firepower, huh? Wow, do you mean it? Sounds to me like some new weapons are in order. I know just the thing. It's the best weapon I've got on hand. Here, crystal hammers. <gasps> so cool! Are you sure we can have these? Oh, of course. I'd be delighted if you'd use them. Wow, thank you so much! I promise we won't let you down! <sighs> hey guys! Good morning! Oh, where's everybody else? They're already gone for the day. Kanade's at the library. Apparently there's some quest over there that has to be done today. I asked Kasumi to do me a favor and collect some materials that I've been needing. Sally's out with Mai and Yui hunting monsters and the like. She told me that she wanted to teach them a few things about dodging attacks despite having low agility. Wow, everyone's working really hard. I was just about to head out. Unless I learn some new skills or something, I'm worried that I might not stack up against the others. Oh, in that case... I gotta say, I never thought I'd see the day when she'd lend me her little partner. I'm grateful, but let's be real. I think your master's a little bit too trusting. If I felt like it, I could easily ditch the guild and have you all to myself. No, 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 I'm not like that. I was just making a point. Still, there are a lot of bad guys out there. And since I'm a game veteran, it's my job to look out for my friends. But to be honest, I just want everyone to enjoy playing the game, that's all. Hidden dungeon?
going on here? I was thinking I would collect materials to help out. Get this, when I was playing around with some sheep, I kind of learned a new skill. Uh, I get the picture. Hang on. Shit! Thanks for the help. So, um, what skill did you get exactly? You see, it's called Wooly. Watch this, I'll show you how I do it. Wooly! Now we can have as much sheep wool as we want. Oh, and check this out, Kasumi. If I combine it with poison magic, enemies can't get close. Isn't it awesome? I guess, but now I can't get close to you either. Huh? Well, help me. I can't get out of this on my own. Somebody's got to clip all this wool off of me. I'd love to help, but my hands are tied till the poison wears off. Kasumi! <laughs> Honestly, I could watch this scene all day. Shield attack! <sighs> so this dungeon's called Grave of the Dead, huh? In order to enter, you have to have died and been revived four times minimum. Well, I hate to brag, but I'm pretty much king of dying. Although, to be fair, mastering this big old shield was no easy feat. Uh, hold on, did you learn something new? Oh, those skills seem powerful too. I should get something for clearing it myself, don't you think? Unique series. That's great. I would say it's perfect, but it looks like it might put a curse on me. I think it's about time for me to start getting a little crazy. I'm so excited the guild is leveling up. I wonder what I should do in the meantime. Huh. It's been a while since I went out on my own, so I think today's all about exploring new territory. What's that? Poor baby. I'm sorry that I can't do anything for you. I see. An NPC in trouble. Bet there's a quest here. Pardon? Uh, Would you happen to be a knight, miss? Uh, well, not sure how to answer that. Miss Knight, I'm uh, begging you. Please, you must help my daughter. We have no way to repay you, but we're desperate. She's very ill. Please. I knew it. I'd feel awful if I didn't, so okay. Thank you so much! My daughter needs special medicine, but I don't think I can retrieve it by myself. I can guide you to it, though, so take me with you. That's no problem. I can be your escort. So, to complete this quest, the mother has to make it to the destination without dying. Then I guess we should start by heading outside the city, right? Yes. The spring of purification is to the northwest of town. If you take me there, I'll get the medicine. This forest is full of dreadful monsters. Please be very careful, brave Miss Knight. You got it. I get the feeling it won't matter much, though, since we're flying. Thank you so much for your help. Now I'll be able to save my daughter. Thank goodness. Let's head back. <coughs> Whoa! Uh, I appreciate you protecting me back there. If it hadn't been for you, I would have perished for sure. What are you talking about? Without the protection of a skilled knight, I would have been no match for those terrible monsters in the forest. How can I ever repay you? Uh, oh, I get it. Escaping the forest was supposed to be kind of difficult, wasn't it? That's why your dialogue seems odd. The quest is usually harder. A true hero risking life and limb for strangers like us. It's incredibly selfless of you. Jeez, I feel like I should apologize. Well? <coughs> I feel a little better. Oh no, your cough still sounds awful. Dear me, what to do? One of those quest chains I've heard people talk about. Miss Knight! Are you willing to help us out again? I can't just give up now. 
So what do we need to do this time? I've heard talk of a ring that heals the body. I think it can be found in a distant land near a large city. If you could just find that for me. A large city, huh? Could she mean the city on the first level? In that case, the ring might be... Miss yes. Knight! I can't believe you found it! So there! Oh, how can I ever thank you enough? Huh? That's all it is? Really? I can't imagine all the trouble you went through to retrieve this magic ring for us! I will be forever in your debt, Miss Knight! Uh, I really didn't do anything. Now then, let's put this on your finger. stuff is made for you? The color is phenomenal. Yeah, it's like a whole new version of you. You look lovely, Maple. Pretty. But like, there's more to it than looks, right? If not, you could have just showed off your new gear at the guild house, am I right? You know me so well. Actually, I brought you all here because I wanted to show you a new skill of mine. Well, then this should be good. Loving Sacrifice! Oh, right.
I had the same reaction when I saw it. Here they come! What's going on? This is her new skill. Every party member within range of loving sacrifice is being protected by cover right now. So that means as long as we're standing in the circle of life and essentially we'll all have the same defenses as Maple? Yep. I do take a sizable hit of HP initially, though. Man, this is way overpowered. So as long as Maple's alive, the rest of us benefit and are practically invincible. That's right, and we all know that taking Maple down is pretty much an impossible feat. As long as we stay by Maple's side, then this skill makes us kind of immortal. By the way, what's your vitality at? Um, I'm not quite sure. I do know I went over 1,000, though. Uh. <laughs> Maple is truly our guardian angel. <laughs> now then, regarding the guild competition, besides the Flame Emperors, there's another guild that concerns me. Maple Tree. Maple's guild, obviously. Gotta say, when I first met that lost newbie, I had no clue she'd be this strong. And on top of that, isn't that blue armored girl from the second event a member of Maple Tree? She seems pretty dangerous. It all depends what the event is, but we can crush them with our resources. Worst case scenario, Pain can do something. Every member of our guild is powerful in their own right. We shouldn't have any issues if we can get poison resist. Uh, yes. What scares me most is the unknown, so we need to research the enemy. You're always such a worry, Ward. There's a third event scheduled, and it's before the guild competition. That gives us the perfect opportunity to keep an eye on Maple and her maple tree. Let's see how they fare, shall we? Are you guys ready to have some fun? It's the third event, the cow vent! Oh, wait, the cow what? You know, it's all about defeating cows and collecting their bells, right? So it's a cow vent! I heard that if we collect a lot of bells, then we'll get a good reward. In that case, it sounds like a pretty typical event. Okay! Listen up! Thanks to the loads of wool everyone gathered, I'm finally done with my most recent project. Ta-da! It's so cute! Yeah, not to mention warm. And that's not all. Wearing clothes and armor with a lot of wool will give you a bonus drop on event items. I don't know. Huh? In my opinion, they're too cute. Um, it's just the design. I kind of wish it was a bit more functional, you know? Well, too bad, so sad. Besides, I wanted to see you guys decked out in fluffy gear. You're looking sharp, Kanade. Right? Thanks to you. I'm loving these new threads. We're ready, too. Thanks to the hammers it's made for us, we're gonna lay waste to those yeah. cows. Yay! Yeah. Everyone's super cute. Start. Hmm. Sally sent me a message. It says, to be honest, I'm a little concerned about Maple. Hmm. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Maple's a feast, but she's not really suited for this event. I'm kind of worried about her. Who knows what kind of weird adventure she'll get into on her own. Well, in that case, why don't we all send her some advice? Sounds, Sounds good. good. So fast. Man, sure is a lot of competition. The bells can be tough to collect, but stay focused and do your best. I know it's tough with all the people in the fields, but just relax and have fun. I'm sure the event's difficult with such a large crowd, but no matter what, keep at it until the cows come home. Hmm? How sweet. They're so nice, huh? Thank you all so much for your encouragement. I'll work hard. Right. Come on, Syrup. Let's head for those mountains over there. <laughs> Woohoo! My plan is working. It's much easier to get bells if no one else is around. Oh, uh, wait up, Syrup. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Concern, 
syrup. Uh, what? When did all of my devourers get used up? Uh, was that me? Oops, I am so sorry, Mr. Tree. Please forgive me. Strange, I wonder where this thing came from. Huh? Wait a sec. I knew it! It's the church from before! I got so caught up in the quest that I didn't have the chance to really look around. I wonder if anything's in here. Yikes, what happened? So, my next meal has arrived. Um, you mean me? <laughs> Once I've defeated you, I will consume your body. Your power shall make an excellent feast! Completed. I couldn't have done it without everyone in the guild's hard work and 
bravery. Thank you not just for putting No wonder people agree to follow her so readily. She's got a silver tongue. Yes, and it's no surprise that charisma seems to be Lee's specialty. Looks like it ended without a hitch. Yep. We should know what we're doing by the third event, after all. But now we gotta open up level three, right? It's so much work, I just wanna take a hot bath. What about her? Uh, you mean Maple? We're gonna have to keep a close eye on that one. She's got her wacky turtle blimp, her woolly, she ate Hydra, became an angel, and now she's a demon too? She's gotta be at the end of her stride. I mean, she can't just keep defying the game's logic, right? Right! What more could she do? Exactly! Plus, if it was that easy to get powerful, we'd be in a real pickle. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Great work on the event! Holy Sword and the Flame Emperors. I guess it's no surprise they're at the top. And get this. I heard they both went to level 3 already. Yeah, but didn't it just open up? Man, they don't mess around. I'm sorry, guys. I guess I wasn't able to contribute much to this event, huh? Well, you still got a reward, didn't you? Oh, yeah! I got a new skill called Counter! You helped out plenty! Besides, it's not your fault that this event was geared toward players with high agility. She's right. There's no need to worry. Plus, thanks to everyone's help, we took down enough cows to get a guild reward. Everyone worked hard and did their best! Yeah, and what's cool about that is it gives all the players in our guild 3% bonus strength. Every little bit helps, am I right? Well, for everyone except Maple. Zero times anything is still zero. Hmm. <laughs> That's what you think, Sally. <laughs> Don't tell me. You did something crazy. Maybe. You'll find out on our way to level three. We've got to beat him to get to level three? Fun. Yep. And I doubt it'll be an easy fight. Huh? Maple, he's all yours. <laughs> Okie dokie. Shall we get started then? Predator! are super obvious. She's basically just a monster herself. As long as she's on our side, that's okay. <laughs> Things are always interesting with Maple around, aren't they? Go, Maple! You can do it! It's time to finish this thing! A capacity! since we just got to this area. We can cover more ground this way. 
All right, we'll meet up in two hours. Roger. Oh, there's so much cool stuff here. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, I'm so thirsty. Do you have any water to spare? And a bit of food for an old man? Oh, yeah. Here. You're very kind. So, as a token of thanks, I'll tell you my story. Huh? Oh, okay. You think this is part of a quest? A rather grand building towers over the center of the city. That is where the machine god lives. He's the one who created our flying machines and many other wonderful adventures. Unfortunately, not a single person understands how any of his machines work. Many people have torn them apart to try and learn, but the insides are completely empty. There's nothing, not even a single screw, gear, or spring to be found. Whoa, when you put it that way, they sound kind of creepy. This is where the real story begins. Because you see, now the second generation is the one who's there. The second generation? Yes. Once upon a time, this city was filled to the brim with normal machines. To those of us who knew nothing about machines, the first generation filled us with hope and a sense of wonder. But one day, something very strange happened while I was out of town. A pale light I'd never seen before erupted from the city. I hurried back as fast as I could, only to find that the city was filled with new machines, and everyone here had completely forgotten the first generation. And to make things worse, the old machines were nowhere to be found. Unfortunately, that's the end of my story. Except for me, nobody remembers the first generation anymore. Wow. Do you think that means the second generation did something awful to the first generation? Unfortunately, that's the end of my story. Except for me, nobody remembers the first generation anymore. Oh. I get it. He can't say anything else about the quest. Thanks for your time. It was a wonderful story. Sounds like a super rare quest or something. I should probably run it by Sally and the others to be sure. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, hey, watch where you're flying that turtle, you crazy... Wait, a turtle? I'm sorry. We should head to a less crowded area, Syrup. This fog! So thick! Um, where are we? Watch out! Moments, my thoughts are my own. 
scouting maple tree why not the flame emperors i already told you maple tree has too many unknown variables well personally i think you worry too much Oh, don't apologize. 
apologize. <laughs> I just love these swimsuits. It's made us. They're wonderful. Not to mention they boost our swimming stats, which totally rocks hardcore. So, the guild event. What kind of competition do you think it'll be? The event may be far off. But now is a good chance to refresh our skills. There's nothing wrong with a little level grinding. Am I right? Preparations are complete. I think I'm just about set. Yep. strong one. 
Flame Emperors is jam-packed with other talented players. Well, that's all. Bye-bye! <sighs> I really shouldn't have let her make me use Multi-Barrier. Still, if we'd fought any longer, then I would have revealed way too much info about my battle tactics. But hey, I got to see her skills too, so it's all good. And I spilled the tea about the Flame Emperors. With any luck, the two will just crush each other. It's like they say, those who control information control the battle. You used fake skills? Yep. For example, I pretended Coax attack lets you manipulate your enemy's attacks however you want. And Cascade gives you the ability to evade all their moves for a while. Quite impressive. You really make it sound like such a simple feat, but it's actually difficult to pull off. Why would you need to use fake skills? Because having false information will hurt them more than having no information. Frederica is a top-ranking player. I can't believe you managed to pull off a bluff of that magnitude. Well, it's a lot easier to pretend you're the underdog when in reality you're a pretty skilled player. Oh, time for the announcement. Arr! Thanks for your patience, guys! It's time to explain the rules for the upcoming guild competition, so listen up! Here it goes! <laughs> As I mentioned previously, in-game time will be sped up. You will be unable to log in or take breaks after the event has started. This time, the event will last five in-game days. So it's shorter than the last event. Participating guilds will be classified as large, medium, or small. Depending on the size, each group earns points a bit differently. According to this, we're classified as a small guild. Each guild will be given their own base and must protect a special orb that's placed inside of it. If you manage to bring an enemy orb back to your own base, then you can earn some extra points. For every six hours you hold on to your own orb, you will get a single point, but small guilds will get two points. Taking an enemy orb from its base and defending it for three hours earns you two extra points. The guild you took it from will then lose one point. It's like Capture the Flag, but with orbs. Let me get this straight. You get one point to hold your own orb for six hours, but two points if you're a small guild. And if you keep a stolen orb for three hours, you get two points. The other guild then loses a point, right? That's the gist. Whoever defends the best and can snag the most orbs wins the match. One more thing. An orb that's stolen will return to its base once any points have been earned. But all that changes if the orb's stolen back within three hours. Because then there's no loss or gain of points. It's all good! Oh, so if your orb gets stolen, it will come back automatically. It looks like you can also track your orb. Its location will be on the map. Which means if you do steal an orb, you better be careful and watch your back. Oh, it's all about defense. There's also a penalty for dying. I see. So five deaths and you're out? Which is tough when you have a small guild like ours. The event will only become more difficult with each loss. And that's everything! Phew! All that talking wore me out. If you have any more questions, you can always pull up the menu, okay? Bye-bye, guys! Best of luck! Rawr! It sounds like we need to keep most of our guild on defense. That's gonna be tough for us. Um, what's so tough about it? We lack enough people for a good offense, or defense. The problem for small guilds like us is that we get no rest. Enemies can attack at any given point, including at nighttime. I see. I suppose that does make it more complicated. As the event progresses, they'll learn about our skills. What's more, we're gonna be in big trouble if they ever find out about your skills usage limits. Yeah, that is true. It's gonna come down to how long we can preserve Maple, okay? On defense, let's have Maple, Yui, and Mai. Oh, right. right! You too, Kanade. Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. Our attackers will be me, Kasumi, and Kuromu. Is I think it's best if you stay at the base and act as a backup. Yeah, sounds like a plan. We've got time before the event, so let's do some level grinding. Right! No.
get some orbs. Right. Just like we planned. Good luck, guys! Start doubting myself, I'm done for. Godspeed! Okay. 
Do you think they'll get past the traps I set? I'm sure everything will be fine, Marcus. Besides, even if they do, don't forget we have our trusty guildmates to back us up. I'm worried. She's gonna be real mad at us if we lose the orb. See? More attackers just fell for your traps and got blown to smithereens. Exactly what I've come to expect from you. Yeah, so? All I've done is set a few measly traps, nothing else. That's all you need to do. Just have faith in me. She's out there snatching enough orbs for the both of us. Flame! <laughs> Eruption! <laughs> Inferno! Potion, ma'am? Yes, thank you. Fetch the orb quickly. Right. She belongs to me. Go back to the base right now. Take the orbs. seen but couldn't lend me a hand? Yeah, well, I was pretty busy at the time. You get a lot? <laughs> sure. I didn't bother keeping count, though. Looks like about 20 or so. I don't get it. At this point, you could take down every guild single-handedly. Possibly. At least the majority of them. There is one that might be hard. Maple Tree Guild. I can't believe we managed to get 10 orbs! We are rocking this competition! It's only the first day of the event, but we're really on a roll. Hey! Some of them disappeared! They probably went back to their owners since it's been three hours. Which means we just scored some points. It's still too early to celebrate. We're aiming for the top 10. The 
thing is, we're only in 17th place. Well then, guess I'll go back out. Huh? Already? Ambushes will be much more difficult once it's light out. Hold down the fort. Take care, Sally. Good luck! Be careful! Will she really be okay? I wish she would have rested for a little longer. I get it. She wants to snag as many orbs as possible early on. More than likely, all of the small guilds will be the ones who are wiped out first. But if their orbs vanish because they lost, then we can't score any points off them. Basically, Sally's trying to raise our rank as much as she can while the small guilds are still around to attack. If we don't score major points now, then we won't stand a chance against the bigger guilds later. Makes sense. I'm just worried she's pushing herself too hard. Well, it is Sally. I'm sure she has a reason for her actions. I feel restless. I'm off to go gather some orbs. What? Seems kind of sudden. Well, to be fair, I've been stuck in here since the event started. I want to go sightsee. Yeah, so you say, but I get the feeling that you really just want to lighten the load for Sally. Let me know if something happens. Bye! Conaday's a pretty caring kid, huh? <laughs> Spell stash? Go tighten arm! Whoa, what the- <laughs> we have now. Isn't it likely that their guilds will attack us to reclaim them? Doesn't mean we have to sit pretty and wait. Want to set up an ambush? I'll join you guys. You're on defense. I'm pretty confident that Maple, Yui, and Mai can handle any intruders. We're on it. Good luck. Be careful. Just like I thought. They're already swarming us from all sides. I'll take the ones on the right. Go left. We're, We're on, on it. it. <laughs> <laughs> though I'm pretty beat want to head back to the base I hit zero HP. I have a 50% chance of not dying. So you're a god of death now? Guess you've joined Maple's monster ranks. Seriously? With the sword! What a way! I know you're there! Come out! <laughs> hey! That was some great work, Kasumi. Split Sword Sheen. It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't seen you since the first event. You know, I'd planned on inviting you to join the Flame Emperor's Guild with me. I am sorry, but it seems Maple beat you to it. The last time you and I fought, you managed to beat me. But get ready, because I'll win! Split sword! I can't shake him off. These guys are good. What's this? That you, Sally? For 
Rodrika? I came to see what was going on. Our recon squad said there was a solo player on the loose causing some major trouble. <laughs> Seems like you've been pretty busy. And while I hate to do this, we'll be confiscating those orbs you gathered. It's from Sally. should have a long cooldown period. Yep, any minute now. They're not skills, are they? Are those really just her normal reflexes? Multi-firebolt! Actually, 
you're starting to annoy me. Let's end this. One down. Two down. Everybody, please forgive us. Taking on this guild was tough. I'm exhausted. They're back already? Loving sacrifice! AOE defense? Predator! Syrup, use Mother Nature! Yeah, okay. You guys beat me this time around. But I'll be back soon enough. And next time I'll bring some friends. And we'll be sure to beat you every time. Your skill bricks is sorted to ten parts you can control. I have to admit, you seem to be much better at it this time around. So is there a reason why you haven't gotten serious yet? Show me your techniques already. First of the sword. PK! That's tough to fend off without a shield. Quite impressive, Kazumi. Seventh of sword. Shatter! <laughs> wow, you've really upped your attack power. Too bad I have two. Split sword! There's more. <laughs> So I'll be back. I'll see you again before the event is over! Maple made it in time. Everyone! You're here! I guess I took too long. I'm sorry, girls. You two did an awesome job. Thanks to you, our orb is safe. Thank goodness! Maple, did you take damage for Syrup in that fight with Dread? Um, yeah. It's hard to explain, but piercing attacks can break through, and anyone inside has their damage passed on to me. At least we managed to keep the orbs safe. Sorry, I didn't make it back fast enough. Hey, it's fine, we only died once. We're just glad we got to be useful. For what it's worth, Maple had to help me out too. Fortunately, my earlier bluff came in handy out there. See? Uh. I got us a ton of orbs. Same here, though not as many as Sally. We've still in 22 altogether. If we can protect these for three hours, our guild's rank should be pretty high. We wiped out anyone brave enough to come for their orbs so far. If the other players get wind of how dangerous we are, it should deter any future attacks. I know it's still a bit early, but I think it's time for our guild to proceed with Plan B. Check it. Oh. I see. So this is why you were outside for so long. Yep, I mapped everything. All the terrain and the location of pretty much every guild. It's just what we need to execute Plan B. Plan B, AKA Maple's Reveal. Yep, instead of Maple staying here and defending the base, she'll go out and take other people's orbs. We can't use third level flying machines for this event, but lucky for us, Maple can already fly. The twins will go with her. Okay, we're gonna go stir up the big guilds and initiate a few battles. I made an attack plan. It'll give us a fighting chance. The rest is up to you. Then I'll take a quick nap. Oh, <sighs> Sally! Poor girl's completely worn herself out. We should let her rest a bit. Are you ready? Let's do this! <sighs> Enemy attack! It's just one person! <sighs> Great time! What 
that's the guild we're attacking. Well, according to Sally's plan, it's the Flame Emperors. They're in second place. Yay! Let's go! Did you hear, Misery? Apparently that Maple Tree Guild has been attacking people's bases left and right. I know. One of them took out Sheen earlier. Given that, I really don't want to butt heads with them. Uh, what if it's Maple herself? Let's hope she doesn't come here. Marcus! Misery! There's a turtle flying this way! Turtle? Seriously? Sounds like that's our girl. Have you told me yet? Yes, and she said she'll be back here soon. That's good. In that case, we just have to buy her a little bit of time. Now then, I wonder how many of my traps will actually work on her. I guess most of those were a bust. That's Maple and her super cool AoE defense for you. Don't worry, we still have those traps you prepared just for her, right? It got her! Huh? What? No way! Marcus, so about those traps, how many of them will actually work on her? Um, three. But at the rate she's going, she'll break through all of them. Misery and I will stay here and hold her off. We'll keep her occupied for as long as we can. You go protect the orb. Understood. Good luck. Surprised. You must be the infamous Maple. Given your flashy entrance, you're me. I wonder how 
many more she has. She's proving to be a troublesome opponent. Fire lance! <laughs> everything in your arsenal, whatever it takes. On it. Yeah, I'll do my best. Flames of creation. Origin of everything. Looks like she stopped attacking. Now's my chance! Reach with your crimson fingers. Engulf all that lays in your path. Scorching the earth and heavens in firestorm. I beseech ye, O oh bright flame, dancing in darkness. Inferno blaze reducing all to ashes. More than anything, powerful. More than anything, ruthless. Burning brightly. Any minute now. Blazing fiercely. May your raging flames weave a snare. Shackle my enemy in hellfire. Too soon. Thank goodness. I was getting worried. I 
can't believe I had to resort to using prison flame. Yes. Well, then hopefully it takes her out. It had better, because I'm out of traps. Looks like Maple's in a real pinch. It's okay. I know she'll pull through. <sighs> yeah. What should I do now? I have no idea how to get out of here, and they made me use up all my devours. I didn't want to reveal this trick so soon, but I've got no choice!
one there. Good. Looks like me revived as well. That girl was a real beast, wasn't she? True, but at least I... She even survived your crazy self-destruct skill. Huh? Uh... Sheen told us about it in his report. Seems Maple escaped unscathed. <laughs> but the good news is, <laughs> Sheen and his team secured our orb. <laughs> Uh, 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 I swear! You said I will defeat that monster! Sounds like Maple. And she's obviously going all out. Come on, it's almost time for us to meet up. We can go there together. I'm so sorry, Sally. We searched all over the place, but no matter how hard we looked, we still couldn't find their orb. It's fine. You did plenty. Thanks to your efforts, the Flame Emperors will have to go on the move. Although, our pace has slowed down quite a bit. Keeping up with their numbers has proven to be difficult. Unfortunately, we just can't compare to the larger guilds. We've been fighting the hard fight, but it's no good. We're barely holding on to 10th place. To be honest, we're in a pretty risky position here. It's only a matter of time before the lower-ranked guilds decide to come after us. There's not many small guilds left anymore. So here's the plan. Is Inconade guard the base, and the rest of us will go on the attack. It's only day two and things are already tense. I think Maple and Kasumi should go with Kuromu. Mai and Yui, you two are with me. Understood! See you guys! Good luck! the event with the rest of us. Oh man, at this rate it looks like most of the guilds are gonna get wiped out. Yeah, possibly. In fact, a lot of the smaller ones are crumbling already. Oh, uh, I'm not so sure about Maple Tree though. I've gotta admit it, they're really hanging in there. Flame Emperors is in a pretty tough spot too. I guess even the big guilds are starting to struggle a bit. Except Holy Sword, which is dominating right now. Huh. Is there anyone besides me who hopes Maple Tree wins the whole shebang? Yeah. I'm sick and tired of the big guilds hogging all the glory. You really think that ragtag group can win this thing? Possibly. It is Maple. So, how did the orb hunt go? Uh, not that great. Most of the guilds we found didn't have one. Well, that's unfortunate. Thanks for us! All that work and we only managed to find two! I have to admit things are progressing faster than I thought. It's not even just the small guilds now, the medium ones are disappearing too. All right, it's probably time we moved on to the next stage. It's chaos out there. Everyone is getting desperate. Even Maple Tree Guild. Maple Tree, huh? They've got a stockpile of orbs. Well then, why don't we take them off their hands? Sounds good. I do have one worry though. Holy sword. Yeah, that's fair. That man did say he'd be back. Yep. And they'll want to settle the score. I don't want this event to end until we've paid them back. It would be nice to fight under ideal conditions, but what can you do? Then on the other hand, seeing how both sides are exhausted and Maple's devour is used up, there's a good chance that Holy Sword could attack us tonight. Still, though, Maple Tree has little reason to meet us in battle. In which case, 
We need to take our orb and leave, before they get here. A big guild like that can't move very fast. So with that in mind, it should take a while for them to reach us. Are we ready? Do you seriously want to fight those guys? The thought actually excites me. And if I know you all like I think I do, you want to fight them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just about ready. Then we can go. Hey. It's still too early. No way! Just four of them? It's a small party of their top players. They can move a lot faster than a whole army. But why throw away their biggest advantage? Why not overrun us with sheer numbers? Because I figured we'd be more than enough. An easy win. They don't think we're tough. I'm sure they'll think otherwise once we wipe the floor with them. Sally! Hey, girl. Your tricks won't work this time, you know. Enough with all the chit-chat. Come at us! Hello again, ladies. It's time for round two. Well, Maple, I've been itching to fight you for a while. Your pain? Supposedly, you're the strongest player in the game, right? I won't lose to you. Fight me! Loving sacrifice! Back off! You first! You hurt? No, but what about Maple? Sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to fight me instead. Stout Guardian, huh? Smart. But how long can you hold on with only one HP left? Predator! Hijack! that all you got? Maple! You protect the orb! Multi-Firebolt! Maple, you need to use cover move now! Okay! Cover move! Super speed! Yourself. They're of Mother Nature! You won't 
win this! Mike, Huey, stay by my side. Look at you acting like a big hero. Power Axe! So your skill is like Maple's. Nah, I'm my own special brand of stubborn. Go ahead and try your clone trick. You'll be no match for my speed. I'll handle this. You go help Maple. I'm on it. I soon bolts! Oh, Gossamy! You should learn to expect the unexpected. Go multi-barrier! your mind. Oh, I got the idea from Sally. She said that move would probably come in handy someday. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
sorry. I did my best. How did the fight turn out? It was fine. Maple gave them a real beatdown. I'm so glad we won, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, Maple, when are you going back to normal? Well, actually, since I can only transform once a day, I think I should wait. So much for all the plans we made. It's only day two and we've shown our hand. First with Machine God, and now with Atrocity, too. Those were our two trump cards. We've got nothing left to surprise them. Yeah, that's why I think it's best to move on to the next stage. It should work out, since Maple's using that form. It's the perfect time to make her big debut. And since the other orbs have returned to their base, there's no reason for us to keep hanging around here. Right now, Maple Tree is in sixth, but we still have three more days to go. At this rate, we should be prepared for some of the bigger guilds to eventually pass us up. In other words, if we want to remain in the top ten, we should make it as difficult as possible for the others to gain points. Not a bad plan. Okay, then the answer is to remove orbs from the equation. But how do we make that happen? We just have to reduce the number of guilds. Alright, let's go! Looks like the guilds are dropping off like flies. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if a bigger group showed up and raided us. You hear that? Yeah. Let's check it out. Said at all. Why? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'll get even someday. But for now, that can wait. Right. Huh? It's not like anybody stole our orb, and we're pretty much guaranteed to come in first place. So there's nothing to worry about. Um, of course, yeah. We haven't been defeated yet, and we won't be. Even so, this is still a little frustrating. That's so. All right. Thank you. Things are about to get interesting again. Look! What's that? Huh? I guess there's an all-out war going on. Hey, that's over by Flame Emperors! Huh! Wonder what's happening? Hmm. I think I get it. Hey, Maple! Head toward Flame Emperors! Best to eliminate us, and 
they can raise their own rank without having to obtain more orbs. And if anyone else were to join the fray... Sheen, you're up! On my way! tree on top of that. If we're going to lose, then let's take everyone we can down with us! Understood! We pledge to follow me no matter where she may lead us! It's time to show them what we're made of! I'll cover everyone for healing. See, guys? Let's listen to our leader. Fine, let's move. Here we go! Flare itself! is attacking our enemies. Do you think that they showed up just to rescue us? I don't know. That could be an apology. Let's be honest, that seems too soft-hearted. There has to be another reason for it. Still, now's our chance. We count your attack! <laughs> That was way too close for comfort. I almost killed me by accident. The idea was not to harm anybody from Flame Emperors, right? Yep. Our strategy's simple. We forget about all the orbs and try to get rid of as many guilds as possible. Flame Emperors will probably be a huge help with that. Yeah.
it's only the third day. But this contest is practically over. Yes, there are six guilds remaining. So all of them are currently ranking in the top ten. That's right. And every guild that ends up in the top ten is going to get exactly the same reward anyways. So there's really not much point in fighting anymore. I didn't expect the brawl to get so intense that two whole days would go to waste. I think it's because Maple Tree got everyone riled up with that trick they pulled. All that's left for us to do now is pick out a few battle highlights so we can put together a nice little video. But over half the footage is gonna be Maple Wrecking Shop. If only there were a way to anticipate what she'll do next! So what now? Do you think we need to nerf Maple again so she won't be as powerful? I had considered that, but I believe it's better if we let her be. Why's that? Well, Maple is basically the face of the game at the moment. Her presence has drawn in quite a number of new players. Not to mention, there are several people who tirelessly grind and increase their levels in hopes of doing battle with her. If we make her weaker at this point, then we're gonna hear a lot of complaints. So we're taking a hands-off approach? Correct. After all, Maple's a very charming player when you're not too busy nerfing her to notice. Let's have some fun with this. Who wants to take a guess at what kind of craziness she's up to right now? I bet she's relaxing at base. Probably playing board games with her guildmates. Practicing flying with Machine God. Or sitting inside her giant turtle's mouth. Perhaps she's munching on a new weapon to see if it teaches her a new skill. Maybe she's eating the turtle. All right, here it comes. The answer is... <laughs> same thing. We were about to go on a hunting trip like usual, when Maple saw us in town and insisted we stop by, so really there was no escape. She was kind enough to invite us here. It would have been rude to tell her no. It was the same for us. Plus, we were curious to see what kind of place Maple Tree is. I've never been inside an enemy guild before, so I'm a little bit nervous. There are no sides when the event is over. Plus, we've already added them as friends anyway. That's true. Well, if that's what our guildmaster wants, then I guess it's okay with us. Attention, everyone! Let's toast to all of our success! Ready? Cheers! Rawr! Now then, it's time to check out some of the most interesting moments from the fourth event. Let's begin with Volume 1, Maple Tree Fierce Battle! Oh, that's right! This is the night I botched everything! Self-destruct was a real waste. I thought it'd be good for some payback. You picked on the wrong person. Maple, what's your vitality at now? Let's see... I think it broke five digits? Okay, that explains a lot. <sighs> Yeah, we never stood a chance. We'll win next time. It'll be easier now that we know what Maple's capable of. She'll probably be stronger by then. Knowing her, she'll discover more skills that are even weirder. <laughs> Good point. You never can tell with that one. 
Take your eyes off her, and she turns into some huge monster. <laughs> uh, uh, leave me alone, guys. I'm just playing the game normally, the same as you. Yeah, right! <laughs>
stout guardian, huh? Smart. But how long can you hold on with only one HP left? Predator! Hijack! Yeah. <laughs> 